Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and this is my buyer's guide and demonstration of the new Yamaha CSP255 and 275 Smart Digital Pianos. In this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know before deciding to purchase one of these instruments and I'm going to be giving you plenty of sound examples, so make sure you're listening using a nice pair of headphones or a good quality speaker system. Better still, after you've watched the video, why not pop along to one of Bonner's beautiful piano showrooms where you're welcome to try these models yourself just to ensure you're making the right buying decision. Now don't worry if you can't play the piano because our staff are quite happy to play for you and they can answer any questions you might have. We have three showrooms where you can see the Yamaha CSP range and these are located on the south coast in Eastbourne, Rygate in Surrey which is just two miles from Junction 8 of the M25 or in Milton Keynes which is very close to the M1 motorway. Call or email us just to check that the model you want to see is in the showroom that's closest to you. So let's start by quickly reminding ourselves of exactly what a smart piano is. So a smart piano is a digital instrument which is first and foremost a really lovely piano to play. But what makes a smart piano different is that it has many additional onboard instrument sounds, music styles, songs and tuition features which can all be controlled using an iOS or Android smart device. The piano itself has very few buttons, but Yamaha's Smart Pianist app gives you complete control over all the instrument's features. The Smart Pianist app is available to download free from the Apple App Store and Google Play. So let's just discuss the differences between the two models. So the CSP255 and 275 have basically the same core functionality, but the differences are to be found in the hardware. So both pianos have an 88 key fully weighted keyboard, which is lighter in the bass registers compared with the treble. And that's just as you would find on an acoustic grand piano. The CSP255 has a plastic keyboard instead of the Grand Touch S keyboard with wooden keys, which is found in the CSP275. Both pianos are very nice to play, but the wooden keys allow me personally to add greater expression to my performance. And it's really enjoyable to play. The second difference is in the sound output. So the CSP255 has a total output power of 80 watts compared with the larger 100 watts amplification output of the CSP275. This means you get a slightly richer sound from the higher range model. Both models are available in black walnut, satin white, and the beautiful high gloss polished ebony finish that you see here on the CSP275. If you check out the Bonners website, you'll find prices and also piano stall and headphone options. So let's take a listen to the piano voices. As soon as you switch on the piano, you'll hear the sound of Yamaha's CFX Concert Grand. And you can select from a choice of 10 preset voices by holding down the function button and pressing one of the keys in the lower octaves. You don't need a tablet for this. You can actually access a range of the popular sounds without even switching on your touchscreen device. So here's the sound of the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano. So not only do you have the powerful sound of the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand, these models are also equipped with the beautiful tone of the Bosendorfer Imperial Piano. So the Bosendorfer is a slightly mellower, delicate piano voice, 
which is ideal for playing romantic classical pieces. As with most digital pianos, you can of course plug in two sets of headphones for silent practice. When using the CFX or Bosendorfer piano voices, the headphone output is binaural. Now, binaural sounds have been recorded using microphones placed in strategic positions around the piano, and the CSP series technology emulates the ambience produced using this recording technique. And the result means that you kind of experience a sort of a 3D surround sound effect when practicing with headphones and it's actually really convincing and very often I have to take my headphones off just to check that I'm not hearing the sound of the piano's own speakers as opposed to the headphones. The real fun comes when you attach your tablet device to the piano using wireless Bluetooth connectivity or a USB cable. Open the Yamaha Smart Pianist app and suddenly you find yourself in a whole new world of sounds, songs, teaching functions and even a multi-track recording studio. Even if you can't read music, the stream lights can be used with the interactive scores that are shown on the screen of the Smart Pianist app, and they guide you to play the right key next, which makes your practice a bit more fun and enjoyable. You can also set the lights to show for the left hand or right hand only, and you can even slow down the tempo for hard parts, which helps you practice. A guide function also pauses the song until you play the correct key. The Clavinova CSP series features a great range of preset songs, including well-known popular and classical tunes and some practice exercises. It's also possible to add new songs to your collection within the app. When you want to play a song that's not included as standard, but you don't know where to begin, you can use the audio to score feature, and this analyzes MP3s and other audio song data that's in your device's song library. The app, automatically creates chord charts with over 50 varieties of accompaniment to suit your playing level. All you then have to do is follow the stream lights. The Clavinova CSP series offers a choice of 772 different instrument voices and drum kits for you to play whenever you want. You can even layer two voices together or you can split the keyboard so you have different sounds on both the left and right parts of the keyboard. So here are a few examples of my favourite voices. <laughs>
not only have you got a huge range of sounds, but you'll also find just under 500 musical styles. And these are backing tracks with authentic drums and accompaniment which follow the chords you play on the keyboard. When used in conjunction with the hundreds of onboard voices, you can really create some impressive, professional sounding performances. Of course, when you're making all this music, it's nice to be able to share it with your friends and family, or even upload it to the internet for the whole world to enjoy. The onboard recorder allows you to quickly record your performance as an audio file, which can easily be shared with other people, or you can create more complex compositions from scratch using the 16-track recorder. So that brings me to the end of my Yamaha CSP255 and 275 buyer's guide. These pianos have so much to offer all types of musicians, whether you're a beginner pianist or a seasoned professional. If you like what you've seen and are happy to spend a bit more money, you could take a look at the premium range CSP295 models. There's even a beautiful smart grand piano version known as the CSP295GP. You can purchase the CSP pianos online from the Bonners Music website, and you'll find links in the description to this video to give you pricing and availability. That just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you need help choosing a digital piano, don't hesitate to contact Bonner's Music here in the UK.